Hey what's up guys it's your man JB here and if you've been following me and checking out some of my previous videos you would have seen a video where I got my delivery from the Dulux Decorator Centre and uh, well here I am and uh, on the job now so uh, I'll give you a quick look at the room I'm doing in a minute but I've got everything I need here um, well most of the stuff I've got a lot of stuff from the Decorator Centre got some other stuff myself but I thought I'd treat myself and get some more bits so anyway in terms of the paint we've got this pure brilliant white vinyl mat now that's going to be going on the ceiling and then we've got this color here um, tinted vinyl mat obviously that's going to be going on the walls then we've got some undercoat wood primer we've got some satin wood and these are quick dry so quick dry primer undercoat and quick dry satin wood so these are absolutely great because you can either get an undercoat and one top coat or two top coats in one day and uh, it's a lot less smelly as well so that's fantastic so i'm going to be painting the doors and the architraves the window sill the skirting with this satin wood i'm going to be using or uh, help this is going to help me a lot this uh cutting in brush these are really nice for doing things like skirting and architraves maybe not the the whole width of the architrave or skirting but certainly the top edge but uh, we'll check that out in a bit and i've got some anti-crack acrylic cork as well so that's going to be going in all the cracks along the skirting and architrave and what have you and then we've got some masking tape so not quite sure how wide this is it's not 50 mil it's not a two inch i'll say it's probably about an inch and a half or something but it's it's thicker than um it's thicker than the small stuff anyway and then we've also got some 50 grit sandpaper again from the old dulux decorator center so i've got plenty of bits here so really let's give you a, let's give you a quick look at the room and um and i guess we better get started so we've got one door here then and all this wall here i've already been doing a bit of prep lots of holes in the walls and all sorts so it's taken me a bit of time to do that but there we go that wall there then of course the back wall and there are a couple of double doors that go in this sort of doorway here so I've got these two two doors to do then let's see this wall here and round the fireplace and also the window sill and kind of window bay area the windows are UPVC so I haven't got to worry about painting those which is good so not too bad nice little job so we're going to be starting with the ceiling today i'm going to get two coats of the white vinyl mat on there just so i get a really nice kind of deep white finish and then we'll crack on with the paint on the walls so uh there we go that's what i'm up to today and uh without further ado come on jp let's get cracking Okay, so we've got some 80 grit sandpaper on the ready and that's going to be perfect for sanding down, roughing up and preparing this windowsill.
but I've done all the rubbing down, I've done the sanding and all the architraves, the skirting, doors and everything. And I'm about to do the ceiling, I've prepped all that and everything and I've just done all the coving. So I've cut in all the coving all around the top of the room, so it all looks a bit white already. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and get the roller on it and um, so I have watered down the mat, the vinyl mat, a little bit um, just because it is really really thick and the uh, trade stuff allows you to water it down a bit. It just glides a little bit easier if you just add a, a bit of water. I'll probably put about, I don't know, a tenth, a tenth or a fifth, probably more like a tenth of water. It just softens it or makes it a tiny little bit easier to spread. So. Uh, yeah, I've done that. I've got that in my scuttle and uh, I've got my roller ready to go, so uh, let's hit the ceiling. So next up I'm going to start on this woodwork because it's all been rubbed down and before I start painting the walls I want to get all the undercoat on the woodwork. So we've got this Dulux Trade Quick Dry Wood Primer Undercoat. So it is water based and it does dry really quickly. So this is for softwoods and hardwoods, provides excellent adhesion which is good uh, and it is white, obviously I'm painting this white so um, let's get some inner kettle and get painting and I'm going to run this along the carpet just before I paint the skirting. So this has all been rubbed down, it's been wiped and I've hoovered all the carpet as well. So make sure you hoover the carpet before you put the tape down otherwise if it's carpet is a bit messy it will just come straight back up again. So um, yeah we've got our tape and what I tend to do is just take a long strip and then overlap it onto the skirting slightly down onto the carpet and then we can just push it in tuck it right in to the bottom of the carpet just like that you do want to make sure that the tape hasn't actually stuck to the skirting because otherwise you're going to end up with a real ugly line and if you want to use something like this just to make sure 
that does go right down, you can just tuck that in there like that. You can actually see another video of me prepping, skirting and taping up uh, right here. So uh, go check that out if you want, but make sure you do it after this video. So just slightly overlap onto the skirting. It just allows you to pull the carpet back a little bit as you tuck it in and then you're more likely to keep the carpet paint free. But what you do need to do as soon as you've painted this, make sure you just pull the tape away slightly so you break the seal. What you don't want to do is leave the tape there while the paint dries and then you take the tape away you end up taking the paint off. So next up I'm going to be doing a little bit of gap filling, I'm going to start right here with this gap between the wall and the windowsill. So I've got my anti-crack acrylic cork and I'm going to crack this anti-crack cork open, take that top off, just like that, do that with caution. Don't want to lose your fingers and uh, we just stick that nozzle on. Might make that nozzle just a tiny bit bigger. I might just put a little bit of an angle on it. Just makes it a little bit easier. So we'll just, just the very end, snip that off about 45 degrees. Just makes it a little bit easier. Stick it in our corking gun. And away we go. So when I do caulking, I just literally smooth it off with my finger and uh, just use a rag to wipe it off my finger. I find it's the best way rather than muck about with um, little tools that you can use. This is just much, much quicker. So get it right in that big gap there. And just run that along. I'm not going to be painting the wall until tomorrow. Now this cork says paintable after one to two hours, so uh, it's nearing the end of the day, so I'm going to do this bit of corking and the rest around the room, and then uh, probably be it for me, and then I'll come back tomorrow, and we'll start painting the walls. That will be exciting. As you can see here, there's quite a, a wide gap, so uh, I'm going to really go for it and stick a, a big bead of cork in there because I do believe that one, it's not seen, and once it goes off, 
it should be pretty good. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky having a gap that big. I could fill it with a bit of easy fill or something, but okay, what cork is normally quite good at filling those kind of gaps. So that's one run along there. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to go along again a little bit more because it's actually all right there, but I'll just stick a tiny bit more and that's where it really needs it. So same here, we got a bit of a gap, bit of a hole, bit of a gap. Now most, now a lot of jobs that I go to where people have decorated before, I tend to see people don't always bother about these kind of areas and just leave them but even though you don't really see it unless you get down on the floor I definitely take pride in my work and I like to make sure that if you look at what I've done from any angle I want it to look good I don't want to be leaving out important bits like underneath a window sill got a bit of a gap there just going to put a bit of sealant in there as well. Okay so it's time to paint the walls now and everything else is done. The ceiling's done, the woodwork is undercoated, the gaps are corked, the walls are prepped, everything's ready. All I've got left to do now is to paint the walls and paint the woodwork. So as I mentioned already I'm using this Dulux Trade Final Mat and here's the colour. Looks rather nice doesn't it? So uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get it on the walls. I'm using a three inch brush um, to do the cutting in, but then what I'm also using is a mini roller just to blend it in, just so I don't end up with lots of brush marks. I'm gonna be doing two coats, but I do like to cut in and then blend it in with the roller anyway. I've got some paint in my small scuttle and I'm using the small scuttle because then I can use the mini roller quite easily and I have watered this down just a little bit I've got just a, a small bit of water in there probably about a I don't know a fifteenth or something like that a tenth maybe um, but just to loosen it up a little bit um, just makes it flow a little bit easier on the brush so uh, let's get going So all the walls are finished now, 
So they've all had two coats, so that's been done all the way around here and behind the rad down on this lower bit in the window bay and all the way around the back there over those double doors there we go looking really nice absolute lovely finish with that vinyl mat you know real flat mat finish which is really nice so we're nearly there with the ceiling done and the walls done it just leaves me now to finish the woodwork so it's all been undercoated and primed so all it really needs is a very light rub down and for that I'm going to use this 180 paper just to give the undercoat and primer just a very very light rub um, just to get any bits off the top just to give it a very very slight roughen up so when that top coat goes on it'll be lovely and again I got this from the Dulux Decorator Centre it's um, absolutely perfect 180 for in between coats so whether you're just done the undercoat and you're doing a top coat or whether you've done a top coat and you're doing another top coat then this is fantastic so uh, we'll get on a little bit of a sound with this and then we'll get painting with the Dulux Trade quick dry satin wood I've used this a lot it's brilliant stuff dries really quick so you've got to be quite quick putting it down otherwise it does start drying and then it will flash up if um, you don't leave it alone so get it done quick as you can um, yeah so we'll crack on and get that one in a minute so uh, let's go with it making a good start on all the woodwork and already I've been using my cutting in brush um, which I said is really good for skirting an architrave so I've got this bit of skirting here to do so the very top part of this is very thin trying to do that with a brush like that can be a bit tricky so using this brush makes it a whole lot easier So just finished the second coat of this satin wood, this quick dry satin wood, so it is the second coat, it's only just after lunch and I've done the first coat this morning and already it's, you know, I can get the second coat on so that's absolutely great. Doors are done, there we go, there's one door, all the architrave and the door, got to put the handles on that, we got the skirt in along here and the architrave around these double doors and again these are all painted got to put the handle on that door and also the same here so there we go a couple of doors there more skirting more skirting and uh, then a little bit more skirting down this end here and under the window bay so that's all the woodwork done there we go this is how the room is looking now absolutely finished all I've got to do is clean up my brushes and um, get this room tidied up. But uh, all in all, really happy with it. Like the colour. The client likes the colour as well. Well, they chose it, so they, 
they've got, they've got to put up with it, but they do like it. And uh, it looks really, really good now that it's on the wall. So I'm really pleased with it. Wow, a big shout out to Dulux for supplying the paint for this job. It looks absolutely fantastic. Well, if you have got any questions about the paint or the colours or anything like that, then uh, do leave a comment down below or a question and I'll do my best to respond to it. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Give us a thumbs up if you did and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as well. That'll be absolutely fantastic. And uh, that's about it from me. So uh, until next time, see you on the next video.